Today, we're opening some boxes. What's going on everybody? Aaron here, helping musicians get better faster. And uh, yeah, we're gonna open some boxes. So I recently became a Dennis Wick artist, if you uh, didn't hear about that. And uh, they wanted to make sure that me and my studio were hooked up with everything we could possibly need and uh, things to try out here locally down here in Tampa. So they sent me some stuff um, and I don't remember what I asked them for. <laughs> so um, it's a little bit of a mystery to me <laughs> as much as it's gonna be to you. Um, and I thought it'd just be fun to share that opening experience. Um, product was provided by Danzer and Dennis Wick, um, as you can see here. But um, yeah, I'm excited. So let's uh, let's go ahead and dig in. So most unboxing videos, it seems like they go from small box to big box, but I feel like because of the nature of like tuba things, I feel like the big box is gonna be like one thing and the smaller boxes. So we're gonna go from big actually down to large because I feel like the smaller box just has more boxes in it. I've used this knife like twice ever. <laughs> All right, so what? We struggle with tape here. All right, so what do we got going in here? All right, don't you all love it when it's Christmas and inside the box, you get another box. <laughs> all right, let's see what's in. Let's see what's inside box number two. Thankfully, the trash goes out today. Yeah, I had a feeling. All right, <laughs> that's what this is. This I did remember that I got. Oh, baby. The tube of straight mute. Oh, it comes with like, I didn't know. I've never seen one with little footies on the bottom. That's gonna save it from sounding like percussion. Check this thing out. It's got these little cork footies. So when you put it down, you don't like ding it. Uh, on the ground. But yeah, so this is an aluminum straight mute from Dennis Wick. Also, uh, this and links to everything else will be in the description down below uh, so you can get your hands on anything you see here. Yo, this thing's cool. The handle's good. I'm unfortunately, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, this thing didn't come in a week ago. I could use this. Um, I played the, the Kernow, uh, uh, Played a kernel piece. I don't remember which one, um, but I played a kernel piece that actually had an optional mute part. I could have actually used this thing. Hello. Hello. But yeah, I thought that was what's going to be in the big box, so I'm glad <clears throat> we took care of that one first. Seems redundant. Okay. So I'm really excited to start getting to use these things in performance. Cause I've been doing a lot more recitals recently, which require like mutes and things like that. And also all of my students are starting to get to a point where they're looking for mouthpieces, especially like my, my current like eighth graders and stuff like that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. speaking of mutes, what do we got here? All right, which one is this? Oh, oh, this side's open. Now it's coming in these nice boxes. Dennis Wick, I like, don't get me wrong. I love the boxes that your products come in but they're so nice i never want to throw the box away so um i don't know i don't know if it's a problem it's a blessing or a curse what do we got in here oh we have its little brother we have the aluminum straight mute oh no oh that's smart I'm gonna use scissors for that without stabbing myself later. The aluminum straight mute for the euphonium. I actually used one of the UF Studio ones for Prague. I love these things. I'm ex extremely excited to have one in my collection. I've been using the wooden straight mute for a really long time. Um, so I'm excited to have this in my collection because most of the, most wind band players, they have an aluminum mute, even if it's not particularly a Dennis Wick one, they'll have an aluminum mute. And a lot of times the directors will want you to have the same thing across the board. So I, even though I actually like the wood mute more for most of the stuff I do, more often than not, you're gonna wanna have an aluminum mute uh, first and then you also have the wood mute for like solo stuff. We have another mute. What do we got here? Oh, this is something I'm excited for. Ugh. Yeah, what's 
side. This is so this is the practice mute. Um, so this is the big practice mute. If you've watched my travel practice mute video, I, I talked about a larger black mute that can hurt your wrist if you use it for a long period of time, but actually sounds a lot better. That's this one. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a full review of this one very, very, very soon. Um, but I use this mute almost all throughout you know, college, um, especially when you're in apartment living and stuff like that. Super helpful um, if you have kids or anything like that. Uh, intonation's a lot better. It's a lot more free blowing than the, the red mute. It's just, you know, obviously the same size as the straight mute. So it um, isn't very travel helpful, but super excited about this. This is gonna be great. All right, our last but not least box. It's a smaller one, but I feel like there's going to be a lot more things in here. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I was right. There's, there's a few. So this is the... Ooh, it comes in a resealable bag. We can do it with our mute bags, but we can't do it with bacon. What does bacon have against resealable bags? So this is actually a mute bag, which would have been really helpful not too long ago. Oh, it's made by Protec. I didn't know that. I didn't know that this bag was uh, made by Protec, but it's got the Dennis Wick branding on it. And it does exactly what you think it, it would do. Um, it's super helpful for me, because like I live in Florida, um, and you know, with especially with the wood mute, rain just comes on randomly. You never know when it's going to happen. Um, so it's nice to have this. Also, if you have like a carabiner or something like that, you can attach it to your gig bag. Um, and also, you just have somewhere to put it. Yeah, let's put our new straight mute in here. Oh, that's the other zipper. I was like, what's making that noise? Snug. As a bug, it's got a nice little handle. Again, if you have a carabiner, you could probably use that to just attach over there or of this to your gig bag or whatever you're walking around. But just a little bit nicer um, to walk around with and also cover, especially if you've got the wood mute um, and it might be raining. Oh, yes. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, we have our multiple mouthpiece pouch for tuba specifically which i'm going to make a heck of a lot of use out of because i do not teach most of my college lessons in this office i teach them all in an office downtown so it's actually going to be really helpful because i'll be able to put <laughs> all of the mouthpieces that i either play or i want my students to play and also a lot of tuba players you guys have multiple uh, things it's also got i didn't realize this has got a nice little slot in the front super cushy I'm excited. I, I know there are mouthpieces in here, so I'm just gonna put those in here once I get it up. It is. Euphoniums, we tend to be more one-off, so I got one, a couple of these, one for my trombone and one for my uh, for my euphonium. Just nice leather pouches. Only holds one, but super, super sturdy. It's got a nice little thing. Yeah, not much to it. It's got the Dennis Wick branding. I don't know if you can see that there. Really pretty. I'm not gonna break these packages in just yet. Oh, apparently I got three of them. Actually, that works out because I have the baritone. I got a few instruments now. Baritone, trombone, and euphonium, and I travel and play all of them, so that'll be helpful. Gonna dig into it. So this is a heavy top. Heavy top what? Oh, it's the heavy top. It's the heavy top trombone mouthpiece. Large board trombone mouthpiece. I had a student that's really interested in it. I'm really interested in this. So I got four and um, all the mouthpieces just for a, a basic. Oh, uh, we might talk about this later. We're gonna set this to the side. Oh, here we go. All right, so here's the Heritage. I think that was supposed to go in that box. This is a 4AL Heritage as well. Uh, I don't know if it's because I haven't spent a lot of time with the Heritage series. So there's a Heritage. If you wanna compare it to like the heavy top, you can kinda see the difference there. But um, I haven't spent a whole heck of a lot of time with the Heritage. That's a lot more comfortable than I remember them being. 
I can't get through my sentence. Uh, <laughs> I haven't spent a whole heck of a lot of time with them, um, but I know they're kind of a love it or hate it type situation. Um, people who tend to really like the Heritage series are all about them. Um, I know tenor horns tend to like them a lot, so I wanted to have one in here, but um, uh, that's a lot more comfortable. That's a lot more comfortable than I remember it being. Box. And there's another Heritage mouthpiece. So here's, this is a 3SL. So this is a tuba Heritage. I didn't get the gold rim on this one because I don't have anything gold on my tuba. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's comfy too. Yeah, I just got to spend more time with the Heritage series. I think that's that's kind of decided that. Bone, I feel like you just need to have them. What size did I get? 3SL. Yeah, I, I kind of got E flat F size. I have not played a, almost any tuba here. Uh, uh, tuba um, today, Junior. Classic or heritage, really. I've been, I, but I've been loving my Tyndall uh, mouthpiece, and I didn't say that just because he uh, he intimidates me, but. Um, I actually love that mouthpiece, and so I'm excited to try some of the basic, more basic ones. Multiple mouthpiece pouch here. I'll put my Tyndall on this side. That I don't have at all and have not played, but I know I need them. Straight mute for trombone. So now I have the whole family of mutes. Um, this is just what I need for every single musical I play. And I've been playing on a cruddy, um, you know, that that other brand, the white one and the red stuff. Yeah, I've been playing that one and it's been doing fine, but this is gonna, this is gonna sound a lot better and I'm not gonna have to fight intonation and all that sort of a thing. And I assume it's gonna be a similar experience here. What are you? You're stubborn is what you are. So this is a combo, this is a cup mute, but you can take off the cup sleeve and get like a pseudo straight mute out of it if you want to. So if you got a gig where you got limited space or whatever, but these two, especially if you're like newer to trombone, these two are kind of gonna be your bread and butter. I would actually suggest getting this one first and then this one. This one obviously, cause it does have the straight mute cup capabilities. But these two right here, you could probably get away with most jazz charts and most musicals and be doing that. So, yeah. Okay, sweet. So I think that's everything. That's that's all of our boxes. Look out for more content on most of these things later. Um, if not on the Instagram, um, for sure on um, the YouTube page, especially uh, that practice mute. I'm definitely going to be. But maybe the mouthpieces too. I don't know. They gave me a lot of things to think about. Thank you so much, Dennis Wick, for sending these things and my kids and everybody is gonna really appreciate getting to play with these things and be able to try them out for themselves. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I got a lot of stuff to play with, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys haven't done so already, please like the video if you liked it. If this fun content is something that uh, you're a little bit more into, just a little bit more laid back, less educational, um, just a fun time. Um, and then also if you haven't, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I get new videos out when I can. Uh, working on the doctorate has kind of taken my time to be able to do these things, but I still want to get content to you. Um, so your support in that way is super, super helpful. Um, but anyway, y'all, I'm Aaron. Be happy, never satisfied. I'll see you all in the next one.